Well, hello guys, this is me again. And uh, first of all, uh, I, I will be working on that video that, I, that you challenged me to do, Raul, about um, my favorite places in San Francisco. I've actually just started recording some of that. I thought that I could do it during this break because we had a break this weekend, but I couldn't go to too many places. But yeah, I'm already working on that and that should be up next week. I should have thought that I could do it this weekend. That's why I'm uploading late. Uh, so anyways, uh, that's basically it. Uh, today I want to talk to you about something that I've been thinking a lot about. Um, how quantum mechanics is actually pretty easy, at least in concept. So without further ado, welcome to Victoryville. Before anything, uh, quantum physics is not AC, at least not the math part, there's a lot of things there that you have to know beforehand, but the concept of quantum physics is not too hard, uh, but it's challenging because you have to make sure that, well, you actually have to, you have to accept that you are wrong, and that's what makes it hard for people to understand, to get the concepts, because all of the misconceptions you have in your head that what can happen, what can't happen in reality. So basically you have to challenge your ideas, you have to accept that you are wrong at a fundamental level of your understanding in physics and how the world works around you. You have to have really an open mind to, to accept quantum physics. So with an open mind it should be like really really easy to get quantum physics. So what, the only thing that it takes for you to understand how quantum physics work, it's to accept that there might be an object that is moving close to the speed of light that is tiny, so tiny, but it still doesn't have uh, an exact size, an exact shape, it doesn't have a shape and it doesn't have a dimension, you can't see it because it's more than light and it's still there, it doesn't have a size and it can be in many places at the same time and still be the same thing. You have to accept that most of your mass is created by subatomic particles that come in and out of existence millions and millions of times each second th that just keep everything working together and that's basically nothing at, and everything at the same time you have to accept that everything you know about physics might be wrong if you can accept that you will succeed at learning about quantum physics and not only that if you get to to that point that will open the doors for many things in your life you can you, you'll have a much easier time whenever you're working with other people when you're learning about other cultures you don't have that preconception that what you think is right must always be right and yeah I think you can learn a lot from people when you accept that you may be wrong and that you are likely wrong and or that there might not be a right way of things just Keep an open mind and you'll succeed at life. Oh, and just to share with you something that I did these past days, I brought cranberries because I love cranberries. I never actually had fresh cranberries. And I was very excited, the name, I tasted one and it turns out they're not sweet. The cranberries we eat are sweetened artificially. So I was really disappointed. This is really bitter and really sour and I didn't really like it. Uh, so, I looked up recipes and I made some cranberry sauce, like the ones they use for Thanksgiving, which is, was really really nice. And I actually could do it in the microwave, uh, and that's something nice. You can basically do anything in a microwave. I'll try to share some recipes with you someday for all the things that we do on the microwave here. Basically what you have to do, you put in a lot of cranberries on a plate, lots of cranberries. add sugar mix it all together real well then you put them in the microwave you put them in the microwave for I don't know uh, 4 minutes and 78 seconds good 
Now, I don't think you can hear that, but after a few minutes, you can actually start to hear them pop like popcorn. And let's just, let's just find that very interesting. And done. Yeah, after a while, it will solidify. Right now, it's very, very liquid, but it smells pretty good. There's a lot of cranberries there, and yeah, that's basically how you make this. And for this week's challenge, since it's very close to Thanksgiving and I want to keep the spirit living, I want you to try to thank five people for something small, something that you wouldn't normally thank them. Like really thank them, think about what they're doing for you and what impact it has on your life and thank them for that. And that's it. And I'll see you on Tuesdays, something like that.